Hey folks, welcome back. So what I'm going to do in this video is just uh, give you guys a little heads up. I'm going to start a little series called What's the Tool Man Up To? Because I know a lot of the times I don't have time to make new videos, but there's a lot going on that you guys might find interesting. Uh, so right, lately I've been working on a huge kitchen. It's uh, it's a huge kitchen. There's I'll shoot videos uh, of it once I get it to uh, start to do the install, but I'm sure you'll enjoy that. So what I'm working on today is... I'm sitting here doing some sand, and I got some big old brackets that are on the back of the island here. I glued them up at a two inch, and uh, you know that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here sanding away. So, um, so I've done some things lately that I'm sure you guys have had fun watching. Number one was the uh, the drum sander build, and uh, you know I changed the the power feeder on that lately. You guys seen if you seen that video with the new power feeder, and I'm just extremely extremely happy with that machine. Uh, in fact, on this job, there was like 24 drawer fronts, all, you know, some of them 8 to 10 inches wide and, uh, you know, quite long. And normally I use my big machine, but I found with my big machine, what would happen is, uh, is because of the glue on it, it used to gum up the belts. And usually every job, I'd print or go through a belt on my drum sander. So I decided I'm going to pull this thing out and give it a try. So I pulled it out and uh, I actually taped a little bit of it um, but it's pretty boring. It's just me shoving stick through sticks through this thing, stick after stick. But I sand it for probably an hour straight with that homemade sander, and it worked flawlessly. I'm um, just I couldn't be happier with the way that works. So one of the things that I'd like to do in the near future is uh, is actually to rebuild that machine and make it look prettier. Number one, maybe put some new side panels that were all one piece and. Uh, and then actually taking, I don't really want to get into drawing up plans. I just don't really have the time for it. But what I do have time for, or what I could make time for, and what I have fun doing is making videos. So what I could do is, you know, do a video, some video, a little video series, you know, and we'll basically build one of them on film. Uh, taking, you know, cut two sides, you know, this size, and then you'll need a couple of bearings, this, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So just go through and maybe build one of them or there's a couple other machines that I've had on my mind too is you know you guys have seen the pocket hole machine could do a build series on that but the one I really getting excited about is I, I built a machine a few years ago called the floating router and it's a machine just have a look through my videos and you'll see it. it's my favorite homemade tool and what it would do is it would make it so that I could make these joints it was just kind of a floating router um, that would be able to make these joints and even making like an angle uh, tenon like this just literally took seconds and the setup time was just very uh, close to no time at all just a matter of sliding it in but there was a flaw with that machine and the flaw was it's too darn big uh, when I made that machine I didn't realize that you guys don't have big shops like I do most of you just have little areas to work in and uh, so it was too big that's what a lot of people said you know yeah it does a great job but it's just too big so what I'd like to do or what I thought about doing it just depends on the interest is to redesign that machine to get it down to a manageable size that it be something a person could pick up slide underneath a bench and uh, and be done with it and still have it do this these same joints you know and uh, but that's going to be something you guys are going to have to uh, decide you know maybe in the comment section below kind of you know let's hear from you guys uh, what you'd like to see me do next uh, you know, there's a few machines. The other one that I could refine too and make a little smaller, make a lot smaller, is the pocket hole machine. Um, you know, when I, like I said, when I built it, I didn't have that in mind that these things need to be small. I just kind of <laughs> thought everybody had a shop this size. Uh, but like I said, uh, knowing that now, you'll you'll see that in my new designs that reflects in my new designs, like the uh, the the lathe copier with the skill saw. That's something you can pick up, slide underneath a bench. Same with the drum sander. It's a pretty compact unit. Um, so, so anyway, this is what I just thought I'd put that out there just sitting here thinking sanding. And uh, so you guys in the comment section below, let's hear from you guys what you'd like to see me do next. And uh, if that interests you, that would be great. And, uh, and I'd look forward to doing them. So what i got to do now is get back to doing some sanding. So you guys, hopefully you had fun watching this video. Hopefully you'll keep tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.